Just one week ago, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame lost a squeaker to DePaul in the best conference game of the year. Tonight, the rematch with the winner playing for the title. DePaul, Notre Dame, next on the U. A shot at the buzzer as the Blue Demons picked up a one point win to get the two seed over the three seed. And now they meet again a week later, and the winner will get top seeded Connecticut in the Big East Championship tomorrow night on ESPN. And welcome courtside Beth Mowens along with Coastal Carolina Hall of Famer Brooke Weisbrod. And Brooke, last Monday night, probably the best game of the year in the Big East Conference. We're looking for another up and down track meet here tonight. No, oh, it's going to be a great rematch, Beth. And these two teams know each other better than they do any other teams in the conference. They're not friends, though. Don't put it past them. It's going to be an ugly fight. It's going to be a battle. Hopefully, it'll be a lot less turnovers. 47 combined in their last matchup. Let's get to our star watch and the defensive player of the year in the Big East, Devereaux Peters. Who's ready for a block party? Devereaux Peters has a 77-inch wingspan, and you're going to see all of that put to use in this highlight reel right now. Ties a career high, six blocks last night. Louisville just did not have an answer for Devereaux Peters. Starting lineup for the Irish includes Natalie Novosel, the most improved player in the Big East and also the leading scorer for Notre Dame. How about on the other side, the multi-talented Felicia Hampton. Now she's continued to diversify her game and she's become a scorer, a defender. She's starting to step out behind the three-point line and hit those three-point shots. She's so strong on the post, Beth, and I will be very surprised to see what kind of battle takes place between her and Becca Brzezewski. Most important spot on the floor may be Sam Quigley as the starting point guard for DePaul. Second all-time in assists, sixth all-time in three-pointers, and her toughness has been one of the big reasons why DePaul is enjoying its best season in school history. Both of these lineups laced with upperclassmen Tremendous experience in the dark jerseys and the white. The winner to face UConn tomorrow night for the Big East Championship. And Anna Martin controls it. She is guarded by Natalie Novosel, a couple of high schoolers who went toe to toe during their prep days in the state of Kentucky and now renewing that rivalry in the Midwest. Novosel with the ball in her hands. One of these teams would love to play another day, a 7 o'clock date with Connecticut. They knocked out Rutgers in our first semifinal tonight, 75 to 51. The, Hoy the uh, Huskies getting 22 points from Maya Moore in the win. Novacell looking to go off the bounce. Scrap for the loose ball, and Devereaux Peters comes down with it. Diggins tried to muscle one up. And DePaul, they love the up-tempo game. They'll shoot a lot of threes. And these are two of the best defensive teams in the country in terms of steals. They love to turn you over and score in transition. Not surprised to see Brittany Mallory offering to take Keisha, Keisha Hampton. She loves to draw the other team's best offensive player. Brooke, what are you looking for tonight from the Irish? Now, this is going to be for both teams. They have got to limit those turnovers. We talked about it in the open. 47 combined between both of them. Notre Dame is very good at turning defense into offense incredibly quickly. They average 13 and a half steals a game. Teams combined for 47 turnovers in their first meeting a week ago. Chester can't knock it down as is the case with most bitter rivalries. This one is a very physical one as well. Peters couldn't hang on. Doug Bruno, the head coach with the Paul Blue Demons in his 25th season, one of just three courts in America that are named in honor of their coaches, Pat Summit and the late Kay Yao, the other two. When DePaul plays inside out, we talked about limiting turnovers, but when DePaul can look to go inside first, that opens up the three-point shot for them, what they're known for. 
And they've got to look to go inside early. They've struggled so far. Got the ball into Chester. She got double teamed. There was a turnover there. And Hampton, not too many touches so far. Skyler Diggins with the bucket for Notre Dame. One of the biggest recruits in Notre Dame history. A local kid out of Washington High School in South Bend. Opted to stay home. Bruszewski takes a bump. And the foul will be called on Catherine Harry, the 6'3 sophomore out of Columbia, Missouri. Muffet McGraw in her 24th season in South Bend, highlighted by the 2001 NCAA championship. Over the course of the last 15 years, they are sixth best in the country in wins. She is already in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. This is a big postseason for them as well, Brooke. They have not had a lot of success at the Big East Tournament since that legendary 2001 final 10 years ago when Sue Bird hit a shot at the buzzer. Yeah, that's painful. You don't want to bring that up around the Irish. Mm -hmm. Bird at the buzzer is not a phrase they like to hear in South Bend. Connecticut beat Notre Dame on that night, and surprisingly enough, the Irish have not been back to the final since. We'd like to make amends for that tonight. Skip and then the walk. Hold on, Hampton. The ball scoreless here through the first 245. They've missed their first four shots and they've turned it over three times. Certainly a challenge tonight, Brooke. For DePaul will be to match the intensity of Notre Dame. You know that they are still fuming from that loss last week. And a one point defeat at the hands of the Blue Demons. Uses that body so well to score. You know, incredibly strong. And another player who loves to look for contact. Brittany Mallory has just continued to get better every season at Notre Dame. The ball starts out 0 for 5 from the floor. Notre Dame with numbers and the deflection on the pass. Irish maintain. Peters the reach in foul. And it'll be called on Felicia Chester. The fifth year senior out of St. Louis. Playing in a DePaul record 132nd game tonight is Felicia Chester. She picks up her first. Peters able to convert. A big part of the Notre Dame game plan. Aggressive to the rim and get to the line. They've made more free throws than their opponents have attempted this year. They're already three of four. DePaul yet to take a free throw. Shot clock. Quigley going to work on Mallory, trying to scoop it up. Martin looking for the rebound. Held ball will go to the Fighting Irish. And an 8-0 Notre Dame lead. When we come back, more on the record-breaking night for Felicia Chester. How can power consumption in China impact wool exports from New Zealand, textile production in Spain, and the use of medical technology in the U.S.? At T. Rowe Price, we understand the connections of a complex global economy. It's just one reason over 80% of our mutual funds beat their 10-year Lipper average. T. Rowe Price, invest with confidence. Request a prospectus or summary prospectus with investment information, risks, fees, and expenses to read and consider carefully before investing. Close enough just isn't good enough. If your car is in an accident, make sure it's repaired with the right replacement parts. T. 
Take the scary out of life with Travelers. Call or click now for an agent or quote. Do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? Bill Schaefer, co-inventor of the Splash Wash, did. He came up with the idea while watching his children play. Invent helped submitted his idea to Whammo, makers of toys like the Frisbee and the Hula Hoop. Hi, I'm Clarence McGee, the sales director of Invent Help. To find out how we can help you try to submit your idea to companies, call for your free information. Bill Schaefer made a financial gain with his invention. Bill's experience is not typical, and most inventions are not successful. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-618-3530. The WAC Quarterfinals, Thursday at 3 and 5.30 on ESPNU. The Big East Women's Championship is presented by American Eagle Outfitters. Live your life in AE jeans. And in part by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. Back here at the Big East Semifinals, the winner moves on to take on Connecticut tomorrow night, an 8-0 Notre Dame lead, and the records are made to be broken, and Allison Williams has more on one of those tonight. Beth Felicia Chester breaks the record for the most games played for DePaul playing in her 132nd game tonight, and it's appropriate that she's playing against Notre Dame because she has played some of her best basketball over her career against the Fighting Irish. She's averaging 14.8 points per game against Notre Dame, and three of the four meetings between these two teams she scored in double figures. Now she breaks the mark of Kyra Smith, who's actually on the bench. She's the assistant director of basketball operations and also on the bench. One game behind her is Sam Quigley. Beth? Thank you very much, Allison. Well, uh, one of the reasons for their success has been not only the fact that they are all upperclassmen, but the fact they've had to overcome a lot. Each of the seniors, the super seniors they're calling them, has overcome a season-ending injury to return to this DePaul team you know, at some point in their career. And Felicia Chester with foot problems over the season, and Doug Bruno quick to point out that Chester is one of the best captains that he's ever had. He says he doesn't like to compare players, but she's certainly in his top five. Everything going Notre Dame's way right now as DePaul is 0 for 6 with four turnovers. And the foul charge to Keisha Hampton. And that's her first. Nova Sell at the line. And the most improved player in the Big East Conference. They're already five of six from the stripe here in the first four and a half minutes. Certainly wouldn't think that almost five minutes in, DePaul would not have a basket. I mean, this is the kind of team that always gets off to a hot start. They give a lot of credit to Notre Dame's defense. They are getting all in the lane, lots of deflections, lots of help side defense. DePaul has not had a clean look yet. This is a team that uh, on 11 occasions this year has scored over 80 points. They love the up-tempo. And they are denied again by Notre Dame. Peters with the steal. Diggins on the run. Hampton bothered the shot. Now Martin over to Quigley. There's their first clean look from three. Hampton able to clean it up. First basket for DePaul comes over five minutes into the game. Diggins off the bounce. Boy, this Notre Dame club has a variety of weapons. All five can create off the dribble. They have had five different players with a 20-point game this year. Chester, let's move on a block. Another held ball, it will stay with the ball. Pikes to Martin. Drains it from 16. Yeah, Martin, the sophomore out of Nicholasville, Kentucky. They had 17 to lead the way for them in the quarterfinals yesterday and a win over St. John's. Novacell is wrapped up. Foul is going to be called on Sam Quigley. 
Older sister Allie starred here at DePaul several years ago. And earlier this season, Sam Pastor on the all-time assist chart. Sam currently sitting at number two all-time. Five different players have scored the 11 points for the Irish. Bruszewski, her turnaround is good. Everybody getting involved. And the balance for both clubs, Beth, is what makes these teams so special and, and so good this season. There's not one player you really feel comfortable helping off of. If another drives, the other one moves around and gets themselves available for an open look. Martin on the drive, the foul on Novosel. That's the first on the Irish. So Anna Martin to the line, a 66% shooter this year. For a DePaul team that uh, has matched the school record with 27 wins, their best Big East finish, second place this year, and the highest ranking ever attained in school history. They got all the way up to number seven at one point on the year. off the high ball screen. Tried to get it into Peters and a three second violation on Notre Dame. Well, championship week continues on ESPNU Tuesday with a couple of first round games for you from the Big East Men's Tournament. South Florida Villanova at seven, Providence Marquette at nine. It's championship week presented by Dick Sporting Goods on ESPNU Tuesday. Men's tournament should be a wild affair this week at the Garden. Oof. Especially with the way St. John's has been playing this year. You know, the city will be a buzz. There's a look at uh, the bracket. Connecticut trying to get a first round win. And it's been a while for the Huskies. A looming old school matchup between UConn and Georgetown. Oh, yeah. They had an ESPN Classic game on today. And 1996 Big East Championship. Iverson, Ray Allen. Allen hits the shot at the buzzer. It's 15 year back. anniversary of that one. Yeah, that was awesome. Double buys for Pittsburgh, Syracuse, Notre Dame, and Louisville. I'm looking forward tomorrow to the announcement of the, the player of the year. And as tight a race as we've seen in a while. Yeah, how do you vote for that one? Ben Hansborough <laughs> gets a vote. White Hardy gets a vote. Brad Wanamaker should get a vote. Kemba Walker. Austin Freeman. Keep, just keep going down the line. Go ahead and pick one from almost every team. It was a little more clear cut on the women's side as Maya Moore won it for the third <laughs> time in her illustrious career. She led UConn to a win over Rutgers earlier tonight with 22 points. So the Huskies await the winner of this one in the final as Hampton hangs and hits. <laughs> DePaul started out tonight scoreless for the first five minutes. Uh, they have worked their way back into it, and Hampton can make it a four-point game with a free throw on the backside. You're thinking seafood? Who's got the best seafood tonight? For around 10 bucks. Huh? You got the hook. No place else can touch Golden Corral Seafood Lover's Paradise. It's all part of our endless dinner buffet, still for around 10 bucks. Only at Golden Corral. Ladies. Does the fresh scent of Fiji make your man smell like a never-ending tropical sunset? Personalized love song melody? Romantic puppy surprise? Yes. Why do we go through so much hassle for our morning coffee? We wait for it, make it, fuss with it, carry it around. There has to be a faster and easier way to get your morning wake up. There is. Five hour energy. It's the morning wake up you don't have to make, wait for, or hassle with. And it really works. Just open it up and knock it back. That was fast and easy. Five hour energy, the no wait, no hassle way to a great morning. There's an undeniable fact that you can either avoid thinking about or use as motivation. This will be the only time in your life you get to play here. The only time you'll come together on this team. The only time you'll have an opportunity to win this championship. The only time you'll have a chance to do something together that will
will be remembered forever. Remember that. It might be what turns you into champions. And an opportunity for that man right there, Doug Bruno, to coach with the U.S. national team this past year as an assistant for Connecticut head coach Gino Auriemma. And uh, he'd like to get into the finals and square off with Gino's Huskies. Of course, uh, one of the highlights of his career, getting the court named after him back home, Doug Bruno Court, one of just three in the country, Division I, with uh, the women's coach's name on it. Matt Summit and Kay Yao being the others, but uh, he's talked an awful lot about what he's learned from coaching alongside Gina Oriyama for the last uh, several months with the national team. Yeah, no question. And the biggest thing he felt like he took away and, and what he was impressed with most was how Gino Oriyama makes his players accountable and how he makes them like it and, and how he's got a great ability to not just teach the game but to have his players accept accountability. And, you know, the chances I've had to watch DePaul practice and watch them play, he does not let a mistake go. It's constantly reminding them that they have got to do things with perfection, perfection to get it right. Long pass to Peters. Of course, Bruno had the opportunity uh, alongside Gino Oriema and Maya Moore, who was a player on that national team, to pick up uh, their trophies or their medals for winning the world championships last summer when Bruno came here with DePaul to play at Connecticut. And then uh, Gino's club promptly went out and stomped him by 23. So <laughs> you're welcome. A short-lived celebration. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, your for being on my staff. <laughs> but uh, Bruno trying to get his club uh, a rematch. The resume for the Blue Demons. We, we think both of these clubs will be on the short list for a two seed discussion. Uh, a lot of factors going into it, including geography, that you can move people around to a three or a four, but uh, their resumes are awfully good. Here's DePaul's. No question. And, and the worst loss you have is against a very good Louisville team who's continued to get better throughout the season. And, and we've talked about it a few times tonight. Neither one of these ball clubs get into the final. I think you give DePaul a little more edge based on their top five win over Stanford at the time, plus the fact they've got a regular season win against Notre Dame. But you know, certainly two of these teams who make a very loud argument for a two seed. Quigley's deep three goes. After a five minute drought to start the game, DePaul back in rhythm. Well, and the committee loves teams that get better and better and are playing their best basketball at the end of the year. And Martha McGraw has talked a lot about how this is probably the most improved team from the first day of practice until now that she's had in her 24 years. Well, it's a team that continues to get better on the defensive end. And then you've got players like Natalie Novosel who come into the season and just absolutely explode. Novosel tripling her scoring average from her first two seasons. And when you have players who can commit to the time over the summer and come back in that kind of shape, you're doing all right. A couple of missed long balls for DePaul. Novosel. Harry was right there to bother the shot. Notre Dame wanted the foul, no call. Quigley's gonna pull up and hit. Sam Quigley leading the charge to get DePaul back in it. She's got five, and the Notre Dame lead down to two. And they were once up nine. Quigley had to be the one to really rally her troops today and keep everybody composed. Sam Quigley so good in the open floor, Beth. She knows when to put the pedal to the metal, when to pull things out, and when to really calm down her team. And you know, her development as a player, you talk about players who've gotten better over the years. Sam Quigley is one who I think has gotten to that level of a point guard where she can really direct every aspect of the offense. So critical to have both weapons in your arsenal, both a three-point shot and to be able to score off the drive, which Quigley does. Here are the NCAA Women's Tournament first and second round sites. And once again, geography does play a part in where you are assigned. And it's not part of the selection process, but as a part of the seating process. 
Big East hoping to get 10 teams, an NCAA record into the tournament. They've got 10 teams in the top 53 RPI. Taylor Pike steps out. That clock's on her 10. Deirdre Naughton being harassed out front. Tough turnaround. Taken away by Pikes. And then Bruszewski has it knocked loose. Notre Dame ball. Point blank chance for Taylor who couldn't put it away. Natalie Chanwa with the pass. And a blocking foul called on Quigley as Novacell tried to drive. And that's number two on the starting point guard for DePaul. In the past, that would have been a major problem. But since China Threed is healthy once again, she will come in to spot Quigley. Another player to overcome an awful lot of injuries, Taylor Price. Just reoccurring knee injuries throughout her career. It'll be really interesting to see how she can dictate and direct DePaul's offense and could get quickly on the bench. This, this could be a good point and a big point here for Notre Dame. Three played 20 minutes in the Notre Dame game a week ago. And then a foul on the rebound will go against Otranmoa, the freshman from Ontario, Canada. First on Natalie, four team fouls on Notre Dame. Naughton, the sixth year senior. Three, looking for three, short. Turner gets the lefty lane. Mallory trying for the steal. Just couldn't hang on. And a 19 to 15 Notre Dame lead with 7.48 to go. A closer look at senior Devereaux Peters, the defensive player of the year in the Big East. The lacrosse season is hitting its stride as North Carolina and Princeton look to assert their dominance on ESPNU. The heels are loaded on offense, led by preseason first-team All-American Billy Bitter. Bitter fires back-to-back -back goals by Billy Bitter. While Princeton counters with their own All-American attack man, as Jack McBride looks to move up the Tigers' all-time goals list. Elite Lacrosse, North Carolina, Princeton, Friday at 7 on ESPNU. If you're looking at a home security system, or even if you already have one, ADT can give you so much more. Like our keychain remote. Now you can easily arm and disarm your system with the touch of a button. Even turn on your lights. You can also count on fast alarm response from our advanced network of monitoring centers. Plus great local service. ADT's exclusive theft protection guarantee and a money back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. And you can get all this and more for about a dollar a day. A single ADT system can help protect you from burglary, fire and high levels of carbon monoxide. When an alarm is received, ADT can respond quickly, calling the local authorities for help. You can even add new technology like SafeWatch Video View. Now you can know what's happening in your home by actually seeing it on your cell phone, computer, or TV. Even if you already have a security system, it's easy to add ADT monitoring. Call now and get ADT's Essentials Plus security system installed for $99. It's peace of mind that can also save your life. ADT, always there. 19 to 15, Notre Dame with the lead over DePaul, the winner to face Connecticut in the Big East final. And uh, for more on Devereaux Peters, here's Allison Williams. Beth Devereaux Peters took home Big East honors for Defensive Player of the Year. She leads the team with 59 block shots, 55 steals, and she put her abilities on display last night in the game against Louisville. She came up with some key blocks, finished the night with six, but her biggest one came late in the game as the Cardinals were starting to make a run at it. She blocked Antonita Slaughter's shot, and Moffat McGraw said that really helped push her team through to the victory. She's been a big player for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish all year. 
That two hand, that two hand one was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs>